Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 2020, wear a mask. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, a mask would be it. The long-term benefits of masks have been proven by scientists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience in China. I will dispense this advice now. Enjoy the power and beauty of your foreignness. Oh, never mind. You will not understand the power and beauty of being a Laowai until it's faded. But trust me, as you look back at your Instagram and your YouTube videos, you can recall how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous you really look and how you fucked it up. You are not as interesting as you imagine. Don't worry about the future. You're living it. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind. The kind that blindside you at 4 p.m. on some idle Tuesday. Like, where can I get brown sauce or English mustard? Do one thing every day that scares you, like crossing the road. Nap. Don't be reckless with young Chinese girls' hearts. Dial down that yellow fever vibe. Step away from the pork floss. Don't waste your time worrying about food safety. Sometimes you're hungry, sometimes you're on the toilet. The race is long, and in the end, it's only with yourself. Remember, face is important. Learn the insults in Chinese. If you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Bring some condoms. Queue at the bank for hours. Stretch like an uncle. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do in China. The most interesting people you meet will be gone the end of the semester, doing something else less interesting with their lives. Some of the 40-year-olds you meet in bars are just pissheads. Ignore them. Bring plenty of tea. Don't expect to buy cheese. If you do, you'll eat it all at one sitting and miss it when it's gone. Maybe you'll love China. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have children. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll eat chicken feet on your wedding anniversary with your Chinese family. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much. This is China. Enjoy your body. Use it everywhere you can. Don't be afraid of embracing the Beijing bikini. Dance with the aunties outside your apartment. Read the directions. Do not read no smoking sign. No one else does. Get to know her parents. They will have despaired at their daughter marrying a Weigoren. Buy them nice gifts, like a car or an apartment. They're your best route to the spouse visa. Understand that expat friends come and go, but with a precious few, you should hold on to them. Work hard to bridge the gaps between you and your Chinese colleague. And don't forget to Skype your family because you might need these people when the shit hits the fan. Live in a Chinese city once, but leave before it makes you hate China. Travel Southeast Asia. Accept certain inalienable truths. China will rise, you too will go native. And when you do, you'll buy a Huawei phone, love hot pot, become more philosophical and take naps. Respect your VPN. Don't expect anyone else to support you. Maybe you'll make other expat friends, but you'll never know when they might bail out and disappear. Don't mess too much with your hair, because the Chinese hairdressers will. 
Be careful what you buy in Taobao. Be patient with those who supply it. It usually comes the next day. Advice from expat bar flies is useless. They dispense it as a way of fishing their past from the garbage disposal, wiping it off and recycling it for more than it's worth and creating the person they wish they were. But trust me on the masks.